Last minute impromptu dive. Is that the right word to use? Impromptu? Anyways, we're gonna go look for some taco here at Availville Beach Park in Wailua, which is on the north shore of Oahu. Got my son, got my spear guns, got a three prong with no rubber. So let's see if we can catch any taco today. Aloha guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State as well as some fishing and diving vlogs like this one. Right here we are poking around in some holes looking for some taco which means octopus in Japanese we just commonly refer to them as taco. Here in Hawaii you never know what you can find like this lead right here when you are taco diving because you're really just staring at the reef looking for any like abnormal abnormalities i guess the word is and um yeah you might even find an awesome seahorse like this one this is my first time ever seeing a seahorse underwater here in hawaii super awesome experience and i didn't know they swam like this very awkward creatures now right here my friend found this taco that came out of the hole he said it was really big um kind of an awkward angle if you guys haven't already seen my other video where i kind of describe what to look for when you guys are looking for a taco click this right here this little i button and that'll take you to there so me and my friend are just taking drops how's that double rainbow in the background I'm trying to get this taco out so i take a little bit extra time trying to get it have him hold my spear gun and again check out that rainbow shot so yeah I'm moving around some rocks inside of here trying to figure out what angle or what part of the hole this taco is so I'm poking around on the right side first and this took me about two or three drops just to even pull some of the rocks out and you can see right here I'm trying to grab them out with my gloves. As you guys may already know octopus are highly intelligent creatures and they can actually use the rocks as a shield. Trust me I've seen it done before and there's only so much you can do when the taco is in the hole if it won't come out when you guys do a little tickle tickle action like I'm trying to do here sometimes you're just not gonna be able to land the taco so it's better you just move on stop wasting your time trying to get the really really smart ones about 10 to 15 minutes later I come across an awkward part of the reef which is kind of what you guys are gonna want to be looking for when it comes to taco diving so I move that white rock as well as the other rocks out of the way and sure enough there was a taco inside so I'm just gonna poke it inside tickle it try to get it to come out and I don't think I was able to do it on that drop so here's the second drop we're gonna try again and one key thing when you guys are looking for taco and trying to get them to come out the hole is you don't want to just stab it right away because it's gonna try really hard not to even come out of the hole at that point if you guys just tickle it like I'm doing here it's just gonna irritate it and it's gonna eventually come outside the hole by itself once you get about three or four legs out um, it's pretty easy from there um, coincidentally my friend caught one at the same time so we're able to bag both of these um, within seconds of each other another tip is to shake the taco like how I'm doing here what that does is it confuses it so it doesn't know its bearings and um, if you guys don't do this it can climb on you climb on your mask pull your mask off and that can be pretty dangerous so always shake it makes it a little bit easier to manage <laughs> And always be careful when you guys are poking around in holes, you might run into an eel, porcupine fish, you might even find some little shrimp inside a big empty taco hole. You never know what you can find when you guys are taco diving. I like to pick up a lot of lead just because it saves me a bunch of money. And here's my buddy catching the last taco of the day. You guys can see we caught three total which is going to be used for fishing, eating. Um, you guys will see later on in this video when we do a little catch and cook. <sighs> Not a bad dive, managed to catch three taco. So probably use this for fishing. Maybe the next couple days, we'll see. Welcome to Jesus Cooking Show.
taco from three days ago. In the hole. Are you cleaning? You clean them already? Yeah, it's good. Already. All of them? Two. Just two. And boil some water. So I'm boil the taco. Is it corn starch? A little bit crack. See the ice? It's crack. <laughs> <laughs> it will get you a little bit drunk. A little bit drunk. So boil the taco until it's like what? Pink? Yeah, pink you, or purple. Do you flip the head inside out too? No, I, I'm, I'm going to cut all this up anyway. Mother's right, boys. Purple. You're gonna really strain them out? Yeah, I'm putting them in a strainer. Good to go. Mine's. <laughs> oh, what's the sound? Cutting the head, the legs all separate. Yeah. This is so hot right now. Special sauce, show you vinegar, Hawaiian chili pepper. Taste test, taste test. What? You good? Hot? I'm wrong. More sauce, you can it. 